quick discussion. One Piece, no specific chapter. Yep. Um, here are my guy, the King of Lightning. King you <laughs> with BDA um, Law. Uh I saw somebody say recently that One Piece is in the best place it's been in a long time. I partially agree. How do you feel about it? I think that a lot of folks were like just tired of Wano because it dragged on for so long, like four years. Like, yeah, this is one of the longest arcs I've ever gone through in Shonen. Um, yeah. Just like consistently on a day to day basis. Yeah. And I think folks got tired of it. Like, you know, we're exhausted. We need a refresher after everything's done. Boom, we go to Egg Island, and it kind of gives you like those, like even better, you could argue in some ways, Shaboni vibes. And yeah. it's like, okay, we're, we're starting off the final saga of the story. And we're starting with such a great way because Oda is doing something that's been different so far. Where, like, we have Egg Island itself. Bowie here is Black Raiden Law. Oh, shit. Bowie here is, like, Shanks and Kid. Oh, shit. What's going on? So it's like all these major world events are happening. And it's like, this is some exciting stuff going on right now while we're running through the entire island. Which is dope. That is dope as hell. That's dope as hell. I was talking to somebody and they said um, that Oda slightly altered his story structure post-Wano because normally the post post Wano or the post arc mm. it's a lot it's probably two or three four pages of hype it's like hype 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 and he said what Oda did was he kind of condensed okay. it where it's like I'm gonna give it to you here mm. we're gonna get into the arc then I'm gonna mm. give it to you here I'm gonna give it to you here so while you're going through the arc you're still getting post Wano stuff right in the midst of the arc so it, the hype feels like it's being stretched out when say if he had given us in the same chapter mm. or a couple chapters, <clears throat> Law versus Blackbeard, right? Then mm. after that, Garp pulling up, Garp about to pull up because of everything that happened, or the Raelian Blackbeard stuff. And then he gave us the Shanks and Kid stuff in consecutive chapters. We'd be like, oh my God, post, post Wano. Right, but there's like a massive downtime. Right. Up until we actually right. get like the really, really good. Oh, I see you're saying that. So like that could have let's say we had Shanks and Kid square up. Before we even touch Agate Island. Before and we it's get like, there. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I got you. So then, but that, but yeah, so it's like, that's like all this hype. Yeah. But then it's like so much downtime of what the hell is actually going on outside. Like, we, it's like how in Wano Country for like a long period of time, we all know what the, like, what the hell is going on with Sabo and like the warlords and, and the Weevil. admirals and all that stuff and yeah. Weevil. Yeah. And that was more important to us than like Kinemon surviving like the 19th <laughs> nuclear bomb. <laughs> And yeah, I was, was like, dude, yeah, please, yeah. Oda, just, 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 hey, yeah, so I feel you, <laughs> I feel you on that yeah. one, yeah, I feel so it's you, like, yeah. I feel like Oda, when it feels oh. like, all right, it's getting to a bit of some downtime, uh. or I think what's, what's genius about it is no matter what, I think right now, based off of last chapter, no matter where Oda goes is going to be hype. I he think goes, so, too. If he goes to Law versus Blackbeard, if he goes yeah. to Garp and what's happening with Garp, right. if he tells us the true meaning behind the traitor and what everything that York wants, right? And the then Cross if he, Guild, if like cross, if he they? goes to Cross yeah. Guild, if he goes to Kid versus Shanks, uh-huh. at that if he goes any of these places, we're yeah. going to lose our minds. So I think yes. it's perfect, perfect ingenious setup. But I guess we can start with the traitor. How did you feel about the reveal? Because you have a bunch of people that are, it's split. I seen it split. Where people are saying, oh, man, I, I liked it. Then people are saying, I didn't like it because there's nothing there that could have really pointed it towards York. Well, I mean, but I think that's kind of the point. Like, outside of like, her moniker or, like, her title, like the, like, the greed. Right. Um, It's like, to me, it made the most sense for it to be a bigger punk because of how, like, there was so much setup for it. For, like, because, like, you could say there was, like, what, three months in the making for this. We found that CP5 through CP0 were there for, like, months upon months. And yeah. it's, like, the ideas of, oh, well, in the shadow, we see, like, someone that looks like St. J. Garcia Saturn. Or, like, when it's, like, the shadowy figure in, like, the steps, and we have that that, that sound effect, that, like, heel-clicking sound the, effect. The, oh, that's actually plop. Emu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Emu teleport, or, like, that's S. Flamingo yeah. who overrid the protocol because he's a 10 Rubito, and, you know, they're, like, taking over, like, uh, control. Or it's actually Actually, um, the craze theory was like it was actually um, <laughs> punk records itself. Like, it, like, like it took over. Yeah. It became like self-sufficient. Yeah, yeah. And then made some version of itself. I'm like, it went crazy. So the AI. Much- yeah, it, it, went, went crazy. It, went- it was a great so, week of theories. It was a great week. This of is theories. where I think, like, okay, so this is where I think, like, it's the final saga. We're, we're, we're allowed to go crazy, but then we can't necessarily go crazy in Oda would. And so I think a lot of folks. 
or like let's just go as nutty as possible. Yeah. But then when things happen, like the, the, there should be some of, of like expectation here where it's okay. Here's the crazy stupid shit. Here is like okay, this is great. I'll like I'll take this, and this is like ah, this could be a lot better. And I feel like this is like somewhere in the middle. Where it's like hey, this is actually pretty damn good because York was like. I think in my list, she was bottom of the rung for the Vega Punks that could have been the trader for sure. Without a doubt. Yeah, especially after she got petrified. Right, right. right? It was just right. like, all right, it wouldn't make sense for it to be York because she just got frozen. So, all right, we're ruling her out. And I think that's the issue with some people. It's like, okay, makes sense based on her moniker being greed, right? Greed. She'd want more. Mm -hmm. um, but Oda didn't give us much to work with to basically figure out that it was York. And my thing was like, I liked it because it was right in front of our face the entire time and we didn't care about it. It was right. like, we went to Lilith because she's evil. We went to Shaka because he's logic. He's good, right? right, right. And so it was like, for it to be York, the person that had pr pretty much the most downtime, right? That had to do all these different things for the punks. Right. Who was I already absolutely... petrified again. Like, like, like right. she was already turned to stone, yeah. Right, but here's, her. like, here's, oh. here's the thing that I'm looking at more and more. In that panel, right? Mm -hmm. That Shaka gets... He gets shot. Yeah. And York. And the size of that gun. Bro, he got shot by Cannibal. Like, <laughs> he's I, dead. I, wouldn't it completely blast his head off? I feel like it would. But at the same time, I mean, I don't know if Oda's going to be, like, consistent with the whole, like, okay, like, do me the actual bullet itself, like, the size of a cannonball. <laughs> or, like, does that actually face do him? Like, because his head was blasted off. So I'll, maybe, like, the barrel is smaller interior. Who that really knows, right? But I think that, like, ultimately, whether it is or is not the case of, like, how big the bullet should be, yeah. there's a good chance that he's dead. And that's the key thing here. It's like, oh, you think he's, he's not, dead? There's, there's a good chance he could be dead here because. Oh, man. You have a lot seemed, of faith. Oda, well, because Oda sees between the scabbards, or he's not treating them like, like like the scabbards. Like the scabbards, are like alive for like most of the damn thing, and then we go through all this blah 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 blah, right, and, then and then only did. two of them really die. Um, whereas like this one, because Vega Punk's existence in some way does kind of impeach on the Strat's journey a little bit, because they have to kind of find all this stuff themselves in some way. Let's say going to Elbath and get the O'Hara Library stuff, or the real opponent, like all that stuff. But if Vega Punk knows already so much, the corner now. What's really the point in some way of actually, let's say, getting this knowledge through real porn and that kind of stuff when he already knows so much? Well, him, I guess, the other ones as well. Yeah. And then plus, if they're on the ship, then they could take away from Frankie and Usa, mainly Frankie, because he's the tech guy. He's the one that's building all this crazy stuff. I agree. We can't have all of them on the ship. There's no chance for that. Yeah, like, not I think most, yeah. of them, most of them are going to die. It's just weird with Shaka because considering his connection with Dragon, and right. how it feels like he was the one that was most connected to oh, the future. Okay, okay. It's weird with him being dead. I do. I think the others are gonna die, right? For sure, because they all they all can't go on the ship of the Strats. But one of them probably goes. I think one of them has to go to Elbath. Mm -hmm. And I do think I think Stella dies as well. I think he could die. I think yeah. or let's, let, let's say he dies because there was one thing I was brought up where. Um, they had the, uh, the 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 power to recreate organs with the organoid stuff. Yes, yeah. So, the, like maybe like the idea is that let's say he had his his brain backed up like another brain somewhere sure. in the lab, For and sure. then <laughs> so he dies. Then they, they they take his brain, having a whole new body, and then yeah. he's there as Vega Punk, but he has none of that memory bank stuff because his brain is now like his actual definitely main body is now dead. We had this know? debate where it's like if Stella dies, like if Stella would got shot through the head right mm. now, yeah, right through the antenna, yeah. Does he die? Uh, his main body should die. Yeah. Um, I think that his brain may still be alive because it's still giving signals to the other Vega Punks, maybe. Right. But remember, uh, like his brain isn't connected to his head. Right. It's it's weird. But I, I would assume that, like, I would assume at least, like, um, there's a chance that he, the Vega Punk, or at least the main thing, Punk Rats could actually disappear because, um, you know, he's no longer alive. But at the same time, if his consciousness is still alive within that big brain. Right. Like it's a saved data file. Right. Right. Then you have to destroy Punk Rats itself. You have to destroy that thing first and then kill him. And then kill him for it to yeah. completely disappear. Because, yeah. And then it goes back to the, the devil fruit, though. Like you'd have to destroy the body. Like the, technically, the, the body's alive, the brain is alive. Right. And so, but like the brain and the heart, they kind of working in right. tandem. But like, but so like it's, that it's a, brain also like can like save data, you could argue in some way. Right. So you can argue maybe it saves own consciousness. Because remember, they said before, like, is 
um, what was it like? Memory has weight to it. Therefore, the ta- the intangible yeah, is die. like Kuma's powers can yeah. make the intangible tangible. Yeah. So could a soul be made tangible? Let's say through tech or Kuma's abilities, so it actually exists. Let's say in that brain somewhere. Yeah. So did did was that what Vegapunk did via the Kuma method, where his technical soul exists within the brain as well? Yeah. Right. Something like that. Yeah. You know big, that because he had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he there are that ways that Oda can make him, everything. Yeah, you know? there are ways that Oda can make you know Vegapunk still you know or, uh, even all them too. I mean, I would say I support Lilith in the thickness. I do. So I would like her to still be alive. Shout out to Lilith. Um, yeah, York I, is of course she it. she York probably has to die just given what's happening. Um, uh, even though that squad was intimidating, uh, she has to probably go. And yeah. uh, Atlas, I think she she already kind of almost died once. So kind of she keeps redundant. like getting messed up. I'm just like yeah. So I think she probably goes because she's she's pretty <sighs> impulsive, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think she might she might be the one she might die that tries to go after Kizaru with the light gloves. Oh damn! You think it's be like that? Ooh, she might try it. Mm. She might be like, oh, that's he's light. <laughs> I have something. I for have the him. gauntlets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she is, because she's the violent. No, she's wrath or violence. She's one of wrath, them. Yeah, one of them. Yeah, yeah. And she oh, tries oh. to do that, and then she's impulsive. She'd go in there like she's one of the Paul brothers, and then she get clapped. Then yeah, she gets clapped. She gets clapped. It's over for her. You know what I'm saying? So I can see that happening. Like um, she's Logan or Jake, and he's yeah. Floyd Mayweather. Like why you, know you running, dude? Like why are you running, yo? No, you you you, you <laughs> have gloves that can hit light, but you still gotta hit light. You yeah. Feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, I, I do think a couple of them die. I, that's, shock is a difficult one. That's why. And then it's Oda. Oda and death. Right. Not it's a Oda. Great You're right. Like yeah. You see what I'm saying? But, but remember how this year started off with him saying, I hope no one dies. And then we have Shaka. And then we have, like, uh, Pythagoras. And then maybe Edison's now gone to, like, on the verge of death. It's like, then maybe Luth is dead. Too. Well, maybe she's not dead, but she could die soon enough. Yeah. Um, so, so Oda could be really say, hey, it's the final saga. We're going to kind of change tunes here. Um, cats are going to die. You know, like, so this could all be a precursor to our good old boy, God, but we'll have to wait and see how the plot plays on the, plays on the future. Car- um, Carly, where we are, the Straw Hats are facing the biggest onslaught fleet. that we've ever seen from the Marines. Even more than Marine Four, by far. Even like, more than Marine Four. I think it's stupid double. Stupid them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And the, oh, the, the narrator came in, right? Narrator mm. came in and said, hey, what happened the next day? And the outcome of the next, everything that happened the next day. Yes. It was crazy. Yes. What do you think that is? Because some people are saying, oh, Luffy wins. I'm like, it has to be a bit more grandiose than Luffy just winning. Well, but, but hold on. But that is grandiose. So, okay, here's, all right, here's the thing. So, so there's options here. There's, I think at a bare minimum, we repeat St. Charles with Jay Garcia. I know, that, JD, I, I know JD won't like that. Right. JD is but... not going to like that. But before oh. that... <laughs> Do we have to establish who Saint J is? Um, because for the most way, part, generally, most people don't know this nigga. Okay, right? you can argue maybe not because there's still other girls safe there. Right. He won't die. He'll probably be just you know, even if he gets punched, out. it's like yeah, he'll why, get punched. Why would, would the world care about this one getting punched? Because I think the world understands that it's it's known that they are the highest authority in the land. That they are the top gods. Um, and actually, p- people do view them as God. So uh, I remember during Green Bull's speech, he talked about the Sons of Dragons like they're actual deities to be worshipped and praised, uh, prejudice, be- breach stability, right? So, no, for, so, sure, so, for so, sure, But I'm talking about like for the, the average citizen, do they know of the Gorse? Is, is that, I, is that uh, because for the Gorse, for the most part, they are the five within this room that don't yeah. really expose themselves to the public. The public knows of the Celestial Dragons, right, which they're one of. But have they ever? Has the girls ever come out and be like, "We are the top guys. You should worship us." I think people are aware that they are the elders. Like there are elders, and those are one of the elders. I'm pretty sure that people are aware of that. Um, I think that it's Emu. Where people don't know about Emu. Emu's the hidden, like the real mastermind behind everything. So I think the yeah, world sure. of the girls Emu's, def- <clears throat> Emu's definitely hidden. It's just right. like I-, I can't think of a moment where we found out that everyone knew of the Gorose. So because if if it's the same, oh. if it's that where everyone knows of the Gorose, yeah. 
uh, well, first of all, it got to be on broadcasted some way, right? Or big news gets the information out in some way, some propaganda. Right, I think it's gonna be the case here, right? something like that, because I think that, because like, I think that that has to be notified to like the world via some method of like that, because like they don't want to sneak. There's an inside man in the Marines, something like that, yeah. and they leak that information to Big News Morgans. He's like, you know, this is too damn good, uh, too good of a scoop. I'm gonna print it out, let the world know, because I think that the play here is that we're kind of building up towards the final war. Yeah, because Sabo. Uh, did your boys dirty? It is what it is, and a few good men. Uh, oh, of course, I, I, right. yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, I got the merch. merch. merch I got the merch. Yo, merch will be in yo, description. Yo, a few good men, baby. Let's yo, go. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. Yep. Yo, first off, I'm I, I, I'm not gonna contest it. I'm gonna let him have this one today. I'm gonna let him have this one today because they they ran away. They ran away. They got away. Kudos. It is what it is. You already it know. is what it is. You already know. Right away. Ah, continue, continue, continue. But what was the result of that? The result of that was you had uh, eight or nine kingdoms in open rebellion. So right. imagine Luffy punches what people understand to be the highest authority in the world. And like the away. literal, like the, yeah, punches them. Like just like, get them, stop, get out of here. The world's going to go crazy. And then uh, even more countries are going to be, you know what? Actually, all these guys on top, they can all go to hell. They, they, they can all just burn. Let's go and support Sabo. Let's go and support Luffy. Let's go and support these guys because screw paying like how much in taxes every year where we can barely feed ourselves, all that stuff. Screw all that crap. And let's actually have a full scale revolt against our government and try and take them down. So that in of itself, you can argue is a major play, just punching him. The real question is, are we going to go and have a full on battle like Luffy and company in the strats versus a hundred Marine ships plus Kizaru and then... Kizaru is going to probably lose. It is what it is. Because I think that Luffy has to win, whereas Law and Kid are going to fail. Duh. And then he will be in the... Because re- I think the the real race of the One Piece between him, Shanks, Blackbeard, and I guess Buggy on paper. That's the Shanks, real One Piece race. Next to Shanks. Shanks. Yeah, uh, of course, Shanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Just a t- tiny, <laughs> tiny, 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 just, just sprinkling that shit like salt by salt. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, but I, I, yeah, I, I see it. I do see it where, like, if Luffy does something like that, but we got to think about what Big News put out initially, the propaganda right. he put out about Luffy kidnapping Vegapunk, right? And that mm-hmm. the world government, they're trying to kill Vegapunk. Yeah. That's out yeah. there. So how does that tie into the news that would change everything uh, to the point that it was, it's it's going to be bigger than something like Marine Ford. Like, well, I don't Ohara, know, right? I don't know, big, I don't Ohara. know, big, yeah, 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 Ohara, yeah. Um, so Ohara, because they kind of snubbed it from the books and how they went about it, so people didn't really get the full blast of Ohara. But if there was like a reveal, because I think it's all building up to like what is the truth of the world? Like, there's some sort of world truth. That folks not be aware of but, that they're gonna but, find out about. Here's the interesting thing, though. In the official, it said it's an uh, the resolution of this incident would inflict a kind of shock the world never saw coming. Right. I think I, I think that punching a Goro say in of itself is a shocking event. Because remember what happened in Shibuya Pelago. No one thought that a ten Rubido would actually get attacked, and that was like huge, massive news. That that in of itself. And then that forced Amber to pull up, and then they had a whole battle there. So what? Luffy's bounty, bounty I, th- I think Luffy's bounty increased to 300 to 400 was a large part of that too, just him actually punching St. Charles. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's ahead. tough because he's saying it's going to inflict a kind of shock. So based off of what happens, the the effects of that is mm. what the, the narrative is referencing here. Like what happens because of this resolution is going to inflict a crazy shock. Yeah. So I, I'm trying to think of, like like you said, it could be rebellion, right? But it's like, is that something the world didn't see coming based on where we are now? Yeah. I'm saying based on where we are now, like where it's already rebellions all around the world. Bro. Oh, yeah, a few kingdoms are already you rebelling. You what I'm saying? True. So it's true. like, if the, if more kingdoms rebelled, it's like, well, damn, didn't see that okay. coming. Okay, okay, hold on. So there, there are kingdoms that are underneath the world government control, and then there, there are those that are not. So some of them are like Wano Country, Elbath. They're like independent countries, right? But they're like uh, Sphinx Island. They're seen as like independent nations. And so they're seen as like lawless areas. And it, it doesn't matter if you can go in there, you kill like a million people because yeah. who cares, right? Like, yeah. that's what Greenbull, like that's what Greenbull said. Right. But it's different when you have nations that already abide 
by the world government standard that pay the taxes when they start to rebel. So when you have, let's say, a country like Dress Rosa or let's say Am or um, um, Alabasta or Drum Island or Kano Queen, like if these countries that are a part of the established world government, if they start to defect and rebel, then that's a way bigger deal because these countries are like, one of the like they're 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 the staples of the world ecosystem I right I now. I think I got it, Cole. I What's think up? I I figure I I have an idea what could happen. Oh, what if some countries actively declare that they're no longer part of the world government? I think that's yeah. That I think for sure could happen without a without a doubt. Where without I'm talking about like the kings come out and they're like publicly stating we are no longer a, we're starting our own government. Yeah. Yeah. Screw the taxes. Mm -hmm. It's a world divided. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and for the Marines, it's like, okay, who do we get rid of? And yep. what do we do? Considering the L you just took at Egghead and all the forces you lost, who, it, that, that could cause a crazy shock if kings are defecting and creating their own thing. Even if they don't lose any forces, let's say not a single ship is destroyed. Yeah. If you just have St. J. Garcia getting clocked by Luffy under the watch of an admiral and a hundred yeah. ships, that in of itself just shows you so much weakness in the Marine establishment. And then so other countries say, you know, okay, if you guys can't protect one of the top, like the one, like one of the five gods of the verse, and you want us, us to be in your, under your wing, there's no way in hell. Yeah. So yeah. in the fact, and then so we're gonna join like the other eight countries that yeah. you know joined Sabo. It's already started, right? And we're gonna and start now, like yeah. our own thing. And then yep. it's like we have the world government trying to bring the world back under control. Yeah, yeah. Um, because for them, control is not only a part, let's say, getting power, but it's also a means of uh, shutting out information that that they don't want to uh, uh, expose. Manipulating the people, right? And so, and that's of of course very important because there's a certain world truth that they have to. That they want that they want to keep under wraps, and they're but in a strange place. Eventually, to eventually it's, it's going to be exposed. They're so. in they're battling in a place where there's a lot of information there that people don't know about. Oh yeah. So, I, I mean, I would bet that some of this information gets out in some way, mm -hmm. right? Because we don't know if like they can broadcast uh, in a way that they, everyone knows what they're talking about, what's going on. But we're in a oh. place where things are really dangerous. They were investigating the ancient kingdom. Yes. Yes. And so what if the aftermath of what happens is the world, the everybody finds out about this ancient kingdom. Then people are decided and people have to make a decision based on what their current allegiance is. Allegiance is. I think I think I think that's important. If let's say they found out that the current world government and way back when yeah. beat this ancient kingdom, and that's what they kind of formed. They formed by being this country way back when they had this crazy advanced technology that people today aren't accustomed to. And then so I think that's gonna be equally as important too, because they realize that hold on, the world had made such great progress, but now we were forced back because we're government. Back. Yeah, yeah and what the hell? If you expose that, hey, the temperature in different countries could be perfect, but yeah. the world government don't want to do that. People can have as much as they want to eat if they want to, but the world right. government they want to fund that. Right. So then people are like, hold it, the fuck up. Infinite energy, allegedly. Infinite like, energy oh. if we want, but the world government, they don't want that. People are like, right. okay, what's uh -huh. what's going on at this point? We, we got to really rethink things a little bit. And so, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think that could be it. I think that could be it where like the, the people starting to defect and people find out information about what's going on in, in, in Egghead. No, I mean, I kind of agree in some ways because the civil because you have those civilians now they're running away early like we got on advance so they have knowledge that the people don't have knowledge to um, mostly. I think also in the last chapter too, I think it was kind of revealed that they had a that they were doing pointing with research on Egghead Island, so there could be another point yes. of here yes. that we don't that, 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 that we haven't seen yet. And then so Robin, so Robin, Alice, they run to that pointing glyph. Here's some knowledge. Wait a minute. Whoa, this pointing glyph, even though it's a, let, let's say it's not red. It has ties to the real pointing glyph. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's, yeah. Now we're we can making go progress so, here. Yeah. And bounce then, like stuff, right? I, Ooh, I think. This, yeah. Yeah. This, this can get saucy, yo. It could get. It mm. could get really crazy. Mm. And then here's my thing as well, right? Mm. Say I'm Tichi. Do I want in on this? Of course. <laughs> Do of course. I want? Because based on proximity, we should be. It's not that far away. I think that, so remember the idea, and 
it's it's dead now, obviously. But remember the idea that um, like we don't see all the teachers guys there with them on Winter Island. Shiryu. And then and then yeah, Shiryu the Rain, Carrie and Devon, and it was um the third guy is Laffy. So let's say it was those three. They were actually on Naked Island somewhere. At infiltration, by the right. way. Right, exactly. Exacto Mundo. I mean, Laffy snuck Mihawk. I, I, that's a feat, yo. Laffy, that's, Laffy got in the fucking the, the Mihawk, meeting with the Warlords. Mihawk, Dofi, Kuma, Sengoku? No one called Laffy. No, I'm right, here. It was like... He <laughs> came in two-stepping. Like, what's up, guys? What like, what the? And yeah, we got yeah, yeah, yeah. can transform into anybody. And Shiryu, who is freaking invisible. Right, right. And, and that's why I do think there are, like, other parties at play in Egghead. Because when you think of everything York had to do, mm. it's actually insane. Because she had to disarm, f- fuck with the cameras. She did a lot. Yep. Disarm the dome, right? Yep. Get petrified while still controlling the the seraphim. Yep. Unpetrify. Yep. And still wait, capture the CP nine, the CP five seven mm-hmm. agents. Right. It, She's done a lot to get this point, and then I think because because she is the greed personified of Vega Punk. Remember how Vega Punk said before yeah. he doesn't give a damn whether or not he gets money from let's say the government or like another force like the Revolution Army. He doesn't care as long as he, as long as he gets funding for research. Research. I think that you know because when they went to um when, when they went to the Holy Land and he got his peace prize for whatever for like you saw, you saw him yeah 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 the cover yeah he was looking fly in the cover story we saw him um looking fly but but. When he says, oh, all these atrocities, you saw it was York. I think she was like, hey, yo, what? Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> Slavery? Oh, yeah. woo. Yeah, mm, we're ran together? Yeah. What? I got to have, like, all the food I want. I got to have all these characters right and up slaves. Your alley. If I'm yeah. York, this is what I want. Yeah. But, I, but think about it, though. She wants a what, Toby. Everything for York, what York represents, that's mm. Vegapunk. Like, as much as you try to think about it, York is Vegapunk. This is a specific... Kind of. It's, it's, it's pulled from him to the point that, of course, it's exaggerated because it's, it's she's been able to live and evolve, right? But when I think of Vegapunk and how he goes about things, everything is kind of, like, kind of consequential, right? Where it's like, I don't really care right. what happens to everything else. Like For the sake of science? For science matter. and advancement, right? right? Yeah, and, yeah. And that is like he's somewhat greedy for knowledge. Like it does not matter in in regards to finding out shit. I don't care about it. And Agreed. Everything but, is kind of an embodiment of that. Agree, but then at the same time, it's like he has his other personalities. Like his other parts of you kind of override that like that thought process. So like normally he'd have right. that greed in him, but then you have that good in him too, the, the, or like the, that, that right. wisdom in him. So you have that Pythagoras wisdom, that Yashaka good. Um, and so they, they kind of counterbalance the greed or the evil yeah. that you normally have inside of him. But, uh, but, um, uh, but, but Cole, York is unrestricted. <laughs> you thought about that, right? You thought about that. Oh, right? yeah. And how the fact that pulling this part of me from me yeah. is basically pulling some of the worst parts of me. Vegapunk thought about that. Right. Must have. Must have. You must know have. what he said? Fuck it. Who cares? I get to right. I get more research done. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, six. Of, yeah, true enough. True I enough. get more research. And done. to be fair, you know, she was pretty much like just doing her usual eating and sleeping and you know taking dumps. But she, he had no thought process that she'd actually go through the process of actually bringing down his whole empire or his whole scientific clique and have no qualms at all killing her other like brothers and sisters. Like who cares? I don't care. I They're my like, way. I think he thought through the. Thought to it to the point that it can support his shit. Right. It's like, I create greed. Greed is this personality type that can only thing she wants is to yeah. eat, shit, sleep. Right. That's what I need. Mm. Anything past that, Vegapunk did not care about. Like, right. all right, it is what it is with that. And because so, her whole role is like for efficiency sake. Like, yes. they're more efficient because she's doing she, all that. She's doing all that extra stuff. stuff. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All that stuff. Oh. But she's also the desires of everything that they, she, that's her. So mm-hmm. everything. Anyway, yeah. She would want that as well. So, so it's like for Vegapunk, how do you feel about him as a character and the, the choices he's made? And because overall, I think he's, I think he's a good person, right? I think he wants to do good things. Yeah, but of course. When we think of people that don't care about consequences necessarily, can we really call them good people? If like, I know if I let, if I create this bomb, it could mm-hmm. be used as a weapon. But I don't care. I made an advancement. Am I a good person? So I think that because here's the thing: it's like 
he did go to O'Hara after they were got wiped out. So he, right. he does have some good in him, obviously. Mm-hmm. But I think it's also, oh, as far as I understand, it's like a it's like a play on actual Albert Einstein, mm-hmm. where the idea is that Einstein, of course, one of the main inventors of the, of the nuclear weapons, uh, and then he regretted that decision in some ways later on in his life after he actually made that stuff. Mm-hmm. And so in the same way, you can look at someone like Vega Punk, where he's made so many great things, but he's kind of neglected a lot of the morality of creating such things. And as a result, he's kind of like, like he is probably right now, then also probably in the future, regret making such decisions uh, because of how they lead up to, let's say, his own creation being killed or him, let's say, even dying his own creation or things of that sort. He's face so, to face with it right now. Right, exactly. He's literally face to face with possibly a mistake. I mean, like, literally, York is like, Episode one, Attack on Time, like, you're going to get eaten, dude. Like, yeah. she's literally, all, like, right there, like, it's time to get fucked up. So, m- maybe there's going to be some play here to where he can't get saved, yeah. but he could generally die in this arc. And it's going to be, like, uh, kind of, I've done a lot for the world. I've had my regrets, X, Y, Z, and the other. But at the same time, for the sake of science, these things were necessary. Yeah. And then, now the strides, you take what you learned from me in some ways and move forward with that knowledge. Something of that sort, you know? Yeah, because it's so interesting because he, he talks about getting out of there, right? And yes, it's something that he said was like he didn't plan on conspiring against the world government. Like that wasn't his plan at all. Mm. But when they went there for to check on everything, they didn't find any ancient kingdom research. So, no. so that means that he actively hid that research. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so because that, like, he knows they're gonna go so out because all because right? Yeah. So at that point. Are you conspi- aren't you technically conspiring against the world government? But well, it's, he, but, but but it's all it's all for knowledge. It's, it's all, all for knowledge. Because, right. It's all for knowledge. So, so like, it, but, but the it, same but way cool. people are hard, like, yo. What's in up? his head, he's like, I'm not I wasn't I didn't actively want to betray them. They they the one that right. wanted to kill me. But right. it's like right. bro, you're doing the one you're doing the thing they said not to do. So like right. and you're hiding it. So that means that you are kind of doing it. But I guess if it's about knowledge, knowledge. It doesn't matter. Right. All right, Ty Lopez style. He just yeah. all he wanted was a goddamn <laughs> ancient Lamborghini and an ancient library in that garage. That's it. I, yeah, that's it. Because at the end of the damn day, it's like if we can make because because what, what's his dream? His dream is to have like infinite energy across the world and, uh, and, and anyone, the hive mind thing, right? Yeah, that stuff too. And I think also because um, she talks about it before Lila does. She talks about how like to Frankie, where like they can make it like a. a, a an actual sun, like with the power that is right. undying flame, yeah. we can make a stun. And then, and so like that's like a big claim from her, Lilith. And Lilith, you could argue, just also like that dream she has is in part Vega Punch's uh, dream. For sure. Because undying flame, infinite power, creating a sun, infinite energy. Yeah, duh. It's but, all part of the same thing. Well, and the, and that could tie well. to the One Piece itself. That could actually tie yep. to the One Piece treasure itself. Absolutely. But I think about like this infinite energy source, right? Yeah. Do you think it's possible that these Vega Punks? Right, they're kind of tethered to Stella at this point. Do you think it's possible that this infinite energy source could actually help them break free from that tether? Well, I think that they're tethered only in the sense of like if they want to go through the if they want to have uh like um like a not not um if they want to share if they want to share information they have to go through punk records. Mm-hmm. So they like here's what happened during my day. Here's what I did. Here's what I did. Here's what I did. And then they all share the information mm-hmm. over the course of punk records throughout that day. Yeah. That's what I think happens in general sense. But I think that let's say if punk but records can, obviously you can get around it, right? Because you're right. Kid. Right. So then I think that ultimately it kind of proves that if that whole thing is like destroyed. Mm-hmm. They can't access their library, like the internet, uh, the Vegapunk web, but we they'll still think. be alive. We, yeah, okay, I think. So, they, so they can't access... Vegapunk will die, but I think right. the rest of them will be fine. So they can't access, like you said, that unlimited supply where they, they can pull it from anywhere. Like, oh, I right. know how to do this. I know how to do... They just right. have that limited memory bank of what they've yes. been storing. They're right? regular humans. Well, they're yeah. geniuses, but they're still regular humans now. They're not like, here's my like, you know, like <laughs> online like Jeff Bezos web shit going on. No, no, no. That's done. Because the real that people, far. they just use antennas to communicate. And they have the personality yeah. <laughs> yes. type of, like, the specific thing from Vegapunk. Yeah. So if Vegapunk dies and they all be, kind of become their own person to live the way yeah. they live, yep. based on the personality type that they have. Yeah, that, that's, I think so, too. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I think. Um, So there's a good, I mean, honestly, there's a good chance where, uh, I mean, even though it's supposed to happen to Fisher Island, what if, like, Luffy just destroys the entire island? It's like, yo, it's, it's time. <laughs> like, what if they actually, like, 
wipe up the entire island from like like Lu Luffy does it. Luffy's like, okay, it's time to just blow the entire thing up. Uh, he Baj ran Guns Island to oblivion, and then we go to the moon and keep things pushing. The odd thing that I have here that I'm like, it's it's just bothering me a little bit is Kuma, and how Kuma ties into all this. Kuma is a bit weird because Bonnie. Bonnie's yeah, there too. Bonnie's there too. <laughs> that has to be rather that because I think we have like an entire day. I think let, let's say we deal with the seraphim sooner rather than later. Bonnie maybe goes over like her whole thing with us because I think she's gonna have to have that stuff with have her thing. We're gonna find us. out. I think Bonnie's yeah. probably gonna find out something before us, but we're gonna find out most of what happened to Kuma with Bonnie, I think. Probably, right. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think the key thing here for Bonnie is that what because I like the idea a lot where what we see in Kuma's flashback. What we got so far from the memory bubble, that could be God Valley. Uh, that I think would be amazing if that God was. Val oh, you're talking about like yeah. when he. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait. So when we see Kuma, Kuma's and a he, kid. He's being beaten by all up. these. Being up. We trying see to recruit him. Celestial dragons are yeah. there too, that kind of stuff. It wouldn't surprise me if that incident was actually. If that was happening on God Valley, because God, that's a tie into some way with the reasons why Roger and Garb went in the first place, uh, why Rocks in the first place as well. There's some incident there, and the fact that we're learning more and more and more and more and more about the idea of gods. You have like a quote, because remember, because Arthur talked before too, where like, it's not actually saints for the girl to say they're gods right. in some way. Like, he's the god Saturn. Uh, Luffy is the. He's the sun god. Sun god it's yeah. like the idea of gods coming more and more to the forefront. And then if you have Kuma, who has an atypical body that's unique in some way, that has some unique properties of whatever it is, maybe the gods actually want that for some X, Y, and Z reason. So the gods want Lunarian bodies to make the Seraphim and so on and so forth because the gods well, are greedy, kind of like York in a way, because she can... You can argue see yourself as a god too. So it's like you can argue like there's this, like like a fundamental theme of like you know even like let's say in terms of uh, Vegapunk's tech where yeah. you have the idea of again creating a sun, infinite energy, uh, no hunger. These are like godly things that science could one day achieve, but they're still like in the domain of the gods, supernatural. So. You can argue, and you can argue even in some ways, science is like magic in some ways. And there, we're taking like things like memory and making them, memory is intangible, making that tangible. It has actual weight, substance to yeah. it. So these are god things to do. And I believe that also these things could play a role into the idea of uh, the quote gods or people trying to be gods and hence God Valley. Yeah. Because uh, eventually we have to get some godly -like content. It's the final saga. Yeah, Kuma, Kuma's a great way to kind of expound upon that, especially when they, I think he's older than Blackbeard and Shanks. I believe so. I think it's, uh, I forgot how old he was exactly. I believe he definitely is. Give me some. Um, yeah, yeah. But for Kuma, I think about him as like the perfect entity, right? Because yeah, he has a special body, right? Can take mm. a lot of punishment. But then with him having the the food he's that he has, he's, he's a for, forty-seven years old. Yeah, he's older yeah. than him. Yeah. So with having the fruit that he has, it's like. He was the perfect candidate for experimentation. Like literally the perfect candidate. Probably, and so was this, I don't know, was this part of his destiny? Where in a way, like, maybe. You know what I mean? Because it's like, he has a perfect body. He has a double food in which he can separate those things. And then with him meeting Vegapunk, having implanted memories, different things that he left for, for Kuma to do. Right. It's like, at some point, Kuma probably felt like this was made for me. This job is for me to do. And for Dragon... I'm thinking about how does he tie into all this? What is his role going to be going forward with the Seraphim and with those guys? Dragon's a weird case, honestly, because Dragon Dragon should be here, or he should be coming here. I'm surprised he's not. Um, it's just that, because, oh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's time for Dragon <laughs> in the future. There is, I suppose. But it's like we're having so much buildup in the foreground for Dragon to do something when he comes in there and does anything. But I think that right now, at a bare minimum, what's going to happen is that we're going to find out the events of Egg Island and then, like, the world find out what's going to happen. Yeah. And then that will force Dragon to move and finally do something. So, Sabo situation plus whatever's going on here, okay, now I got to do something. I mean, if <laughs> it'll be funny as all hell, too, if, let's say, Luffy does punch a Goro, say, and Dragon's been dying to do that his whole damn life. It's like, yo, like, I, I, your, your I son is beating you the punch, like, literally. I mean, Dragon is saying, that, you know, Pirate, that's fine, too, right? So, for Luffy's journey, he's okay with it. And for Luffy, to, for their, them to intersect... Where like he's accomplishing some of the things that Dragon probably mm -hmm. would as a revolutionary. I'm sure he's like, you know what, that's cool. But like I said, with Kuma and right now being at the red line, yeah, was that uh, a pre-worked memory? Because 
people are kind of connecting uh-huh. it to the activation of the that giant as well. Yeah. You know and so but it's that's, like, but that's a hard one though, because that, that was a hard one. Yeah. It's really difficult to kind of yeah. correlate all these different things. So yeah. that's that's a strange one. Um, but I I think I do agree that right right now, based on everything that's going on, one one piece is probably the best has been. The lore, the world building, the uh, mystery of it all, like the intensity, where it's like time skip? rather than cats die. Um, no, no time skip, no time skip. There's no. I'm way. saying since the time skip, is it the oh, best? Oh, so been? since since the time skip. Uh, ooh. Oh man. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'm gonna say maybe because because the closest we would always, we always used to put Zoe up there because of the lore and how it connects to the the final saga the fight yeah the right like just, just, just by default but I yeah. think also because Zoe was like in the middle of like a bigger compendium like a bigger mm-hmm. saga um whereas this this one is starting off a whole new like the final saga mm-hmm. so I kind of feel like that's what it's more like Shibori Pelago yeah and I remember like and and, and that's when I first started reading the story weekly and I would argue that it's kind of similar in that way too like. During that arc, like at the beginning, it's fun. It's oh my god, wow! You have the sap, and you have the uh, you have the giant um uh, mangroves. You have the Ferris wheel. All, you're all learning. Stuff. You're learning a lot. You're learning a lot about. But the then world. you learn a lot. Yeah, the story starts to expand in a big way. Mm-hmm. You have the whole de- you have the whole like slavery charm. You have the 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 dwarves and the mermaids and the fishmen, and all the different things going the slave on. Slave trade. Yep. Yep. You have another animal pull up. So like all these things are happening. Hey, it's like, this is celestial this dragons is too. I think this right? is this is the first pretty much interaction with seeing how they operate. We had a Zoro right. Bonnie moment, and mm-hmm. we had obviously the Luffy and Charlotte's moment. Other top tier people, other supernova, our rivals were like, yo, were there. Yeah. you don't touch those guys. No one yeah. ever touches those guys. And Zoro's like, I'm going to kill you, whatever. And then Luffy <laughs> later on like, yeah, wh- who? Yeah. Yeah, they so, did not care about the established yeah. rules. Right. And so I th- this I, is like- initially it felt, it felt like a combination of Sabote and Punk Hazard, right? Where we're kind of getting uh, experiments. We're getting a bunch of scientific just uh, mutations. We're getting giants. Like we're getting all this different stuff. Okay. But then we're getting basically uh, an art that feels fresh. It feels like we're breaking away from the prototypical structure of an arc where now we're like, we're not sure what's going to happen. And I feel like that's where we are with Egghead. It's the outside stuff too, I think, honestly, because I think that outside stuff is like yeah. major because a lot of times we don't find the kind of stuff until like we're at the end of, end of the, the arc. arc itself. End of the arc. But Aura's like, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to show you guys Luffy's other main rivals for this final saga. Right. I'm going to show what Blackbeard's doing and what Law's doing. I'm going to show what Kid and what the Chanks are doing. And then and why through, not like, a lot of these major <laughs> players. Uh, and also Rayleigh clap, and High Hancock. We got like, that's in there as well. I mean, yeah, it's in there too. Yeah. At the beginning, before we go to Edgar yeah. Allen. That's like yeah. in the beginning of the beginning, right? But I think that ultimately it kind of comes down to a, we have to kind of show the things that's going on in the world because the, the world is now moving towards like the major, like the major climax, the highest climax. The thing that Oda said is to make Marine Ford look cute by comparison. Yeah. Um, uh, even while on country look cute by comparison. And like, so all things you have before in the past. So when it comes to uh, Antrim and Pluton, uh, finally you're going to have the one country borders go down. We're going to see what happens with Nisha there. And then we're going to start going crazy. Uh, we're going to have, of course, stuff verving uh, Shirahoshi, yes. the destruction of, 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 of uh, Fishman Island, um, how that's going to play a role. The No Ark is actually built now. Who, who, if, if so, if so, who, who uh, fixed it? You know, Th- things of these sort have to kind of come to a head. And actually be resolved. And I mean, maybe, let's say for example, maybe there's some play here where we do have the Vegapunk save in some way. Let's say a few of them. And then they help out in fixing the Noah Ark. Yeah. For, where, for like whatever reason. So like, th- there are so many different things that can happen from here on out. And so that's why I'm thinking that like this arc, I'm not saying it's like Wano Country long, but it definitely could be like Whole Cake Island long. Where, like we're just in the first year. And then it could be like another whole year after this. And then it wraps up like that, like it was two years. Uh, because yep. you have the things, because because one day could easily be like we saw with whole Wild Country. It was Wano, like, you know, yeah, whole, yeah, yeah Wild Country four years long. One right? day yeah. was a year, damn near. Yeah, um, yeah, damn near, right. So, I mean, I think, like you said, Egghead, probably the best has been in a long time. Yeah. Especially with the outside stuff, Law versus Blackbeard. Mm-hmm. Um, I, can't, I mean, oh, here's the thing. With a lot of the outside Shanks stuff. Shanks versus kid, quote With unquote. a lot of the outside stuff, the outcome is pretty clear. Right? Law but, less so. But, with Blackbeard. I'm not lying to you, but uh Law, Law less so? Less so. Break it down for less me. Less so. What do you mean? What do you what do you mean? Okay. Law is facing Blackbeard and parts of his crew, right? 
Law, yeah, right. And then Parts Law is his crew. crew. And Law right. is and the, his crew, right? And Law is coming kid, off. It was, kid with one ship is staring down a red hair armada. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying that Law, I was saying that Kid is in more trouble than Law. Yeah, way more trouble. Right, right. No, no, no. I, okay, so we agree. We agree. We agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I was saying. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. Law, so Law is, so, when I say less so, I mean Law is less in trouble than Kid. So, like, Law lets it could escape. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then do his own thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's not being back for oh. bad. I think he can escape, per se. Right, Kid, right, right. Kid is getting clapped. Kid, Kid is in trouble. I, I don't know. I, if Kid was the main character, it would still be difficult. But with Kid being a side character, going up against Shanks, First off, if Shanks didn't if have the If it was entire... Luffy, he's getting in, he's getting clapped. If it was Luffy? It's the red hair armada, my guy. It's I'm... like literally, it's he has Dory and Brogy. Dory and Brogy do an Elbath spear from the coast. So and we're it, in it, trouble. It, it, if it was Luffy. Who, no matter clapped? who it is, it, it clapped. I don't think so. So okay, okay. So, okay. Here's my thing. Clapped. If it was Luffy, it comes down to a final battle between the the crews like the other the other everybody else gets eviscerated. How though? Luffy can turn into a giant and wipe them out in one swing. Wait, but they Shanks has giants. He has like oh, the legendary. Wait, 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 wait. Brogy cannot compete with. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! I'm okay. not saying they can. What I'm okay. saying is that okay. hey, okay. Luffy has himself. Then he has uh his boys, his best boys, right? He has Zoro Sanji's uh, Come on now. Then he has Frankie, Brooke, Usopp. Nami, Chopper, Robin. Okay. <laughs> Shanks has like I don't know how many ships, but it's like at least ten ships. These boys that kill fighting against were able to stall out Kid. So just so just just, just keep in mind these young bucks that Shanks has were able to stall out Usus Captain Kid. Shanks himself has even touched touch his boat. I mean, like, let's let, let's be real here. I mean, like, it's, it's like it's it's it's, it's eleven v one. It's a fleet of ships, right? That's what I'm saying. Shex, kid is in trouble. Kid is in trouble. That's what we Kid's know. Kid's in sure. big trouble. Kid is in trouble. It's just weird where how Oda structures it because I'm not, you're gonna have him take another L. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, whoa, I, bro, whoa, I, whoa, I, whoa. Listen, listen, listen. I agree. Whoa. I agree that that's most likely. But man. Dog. Does Oda like Kid? Bro, you say take another L. I say he got one of the crummest W's. Crumbest. The most unsatisfying W's. And Law too, mind you, but Law, he, 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 he carried that one, so fair enough, fine. But Kid did his thing too, don't do that. Big Mom goes into the hole conscious. All the damage from the damn punk two of them, the puncture willy, the shock willy, the goddamn bull, all bones breaking, big mom goes into that She's whole different. conscious. She's different. She's different. Well, okay, hold on. So compared to Kaido, Kaido goes down to the ground unconscious. Big mom, you damn punks. Roger, what have you done? Kid Law. Yeah, I can't wait to come get you, but I'm like, damn, damn. she's clean. Oh, I don't know about clean. How do I clean? It did, takes warheads to finish the job. Not even them. I don't know if she's clean. Like, did she? Have, was her arm broken? Bro, she grabs a bomb on the way down. Keep that in mind, right? Like, literally, she grabs a bomb that blows out the uh, the under part of the <laughs> island, and she's still clean. Like, no, she's, come on. She's she's built different. She's built different. Like, big. I don't. I don't. They're probably. There, pro there aren't ten people in the One Piece world ever th that's ever been like Big Mom. Even five like is that's a stretch. Tanky? No, no. Nah, Even like five big... is a stretch. You see what I'm saying? So like her being what it is, it's like that's just different level. But even though I think that was a much better performance, considering what considering Big Mom brings to the table. Fair, but at the same time, at the same time, we also have to realize that from the world perspective. It's treated just as good as Luffy v Kaido, and Absolutely. we all know that's Cap. It's like hello, like L L Luffy has gone through the ringer. Actually, like the Baj ringer, nothing. Even though I love Law, Law and Kid are not competing with the Baj Rang gun anyway. With Fisher form, let alone Gear Five as a whole, right? And um, then, no. and then, and then, and then I know people want to have you know, like Kid's gonna have. Um, he's gonna showcase the first time in fusion, and he's gonna be like crazy powerful. Then Shanks be like, oh my god, Kid, you're so strong. Wah. it's not gonna happen. 
I, like happen. I said, the only way kid, it's not. only way kid wins is if Oda gives kid the Gold Roger treatment versus Bro, Golden, Golden Lion. What are you talking? That's the about? only way kid wins. That it, is. Yeah. <laughs> why would no, Oda? No, that's Oda, what I'm Oda, Oda loves Oda loves Shank so much. Okay, he here is me high rolling as high as it can go. All right. Right. Oda loves Shank so much. Right. It wouldn't surprise me if he just actually one tabbed kid. No way. Bro, bro, I listen. No way. Call what call I Brago. What? Oda loves Shank. He Oda did an interview wearing Shanks' fucking pants, man. He loves this nigga. He loves Shanks. Shanks is literally Luffy's role model. You think he's not gonna gas him to high heaven? Now again, that that's like max max high road. But if that happens, understand the implications of that. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I I put Shanks on a level of gold. <laughs> you, wait, you already did. You already did that. Wait, we have that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. I already did that. I agree. I'm about to say. I'm about to say. I'm about to say. Like, it, it, it if, is in the realm of possibility that Shanks yes. can one shot kid. I agree. Yes. Fuck. But yes. That, here's the thing. That'll be yes. so trash for kid though. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> yo, there's no coming back. <laughs> if kid gets one shot, <laughs> okay, okay, I understand it's a massive fleet, right? But what a thing. Even in 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 daunting situations, Oda tries to show like, okay. This, this character's in a situation, but I'm going to have him look decent here. If Kid gets one shot, Oda's like, Law's done what I expected for Kid. Kid is out of here. Okay, hold on. Okay. What if? What if? Let's, go, let's do a comparison, all right? What if, let's say, it's not... Let's say Shanks is involved at all, right? That'd be crazy. But what, what if, let's say, Shanks is in the sidelines? Because according to Lucky Rue, their main gripe is Ben Beckman. Correct. So what no, if? No, that's, that's worse. That's worse. That's worse. If he doesn't see Shanks again. <laughs> we got to bring back the useless Captain Kid if that happens. No shot. No shot. He has to see Shanks. He, yo. All right. Here's the, here's how Kid. Even if Kid oh. loses, here's how Kid can redeem himself. Mm. He has to get a hidden. Okay. If he gets a hidden, I'm cool. One hit, I'm cool. What if it's one hit? What, okay, what if it's one hit, but it's like no damage or like Thanos, like all that first, like a drop of blood. Then like, that'd, literally. Be that'd be trash because we saw it with civilians. Oh, so, okay. Red. So it has to be like a substantial hit. Okay. I'm talking about where Shanks drops the one knee. <laughs> Brago, you are out of your mind. Brago, you are smoking. Yo, you are smoking yo, the highest quality the marijuana yo, in the like, world oh, right now. Eustace, it seems no, I've underestimated you. No, Eustace, kid, <laughs> against a fleet? No way, I, no, I, no, 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 no. I don't think, okay, it's not a situation where kid gets past the entire fleet. It's one where Shanks is like, I got him. Get out the way. I got him. If Kid does a damn punk like Vegeta Final Flash wave on Shanks, and then it for and the Kid's best attack we've ever seen in the story by far and away, like he gave his life, his soul, his hockey, like his body starts to deteriorate into like the abyss, and then Shanks on the knee, all right, fine. But if it's like I'm gonna fire a damn <laughs> punk and Shanks, no, 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 oh, oh, no, no, he got, no. got to get up close no. and personal. I would like if Kid went after Ben Beckman initially, right? Um, yes, same. that'd be cool because it's like, but but here's because remember in Wano, we were all waiting for okay, kid. Apu Hawkins, they betrayed you. True, <laughs> true. Go get your get back. He got one, what was it? He got one hidden on Apu, uh, Gibson, right? Gibson, punk Gibson, mm. and that was it. Then yeah. Apu bounced back and fought half the. <laughs> Half right. of the alliance, right? So Zoro, Luffy, kept pushing, Zoro like, oh. Drake. I was like, okay, what's going on with Apu at this point? Two B wanting. I'm like, yo, it was insane. 
Apu, Apu got to be discussed more. Okay? Apu stocks were at their highest, yo. Like, Crazy. Like, like, like AMC hey, stocks. Remember he knocked out Luffy. Oof. Bro, yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that. He knocked out Luffy, bro. Woo! He knocked out Luffy. So I had to carry him like, oh, damn. Hey, yo, truth true, true be told, that did happen. But then. That happened. But then it was like, well, I'm actually fine. You don't have to worry about me. I, 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 I just got a little bit shook. Okay. I, that was it. You know, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, but, but that, that was some so, crazy Apu time, though. So Stocks that means that. Okay. Whew. This Whew. is what, this is how I would know Oda truly loves Shanks. I know he loves him already. But if Kid doesn't even get get back on Ben Beckman, I and here's the thing with Shanks, right? And people, 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 people talk about how much I gas Shanks. Oh my god! And people think my take is crazy about him being on the level of Roger, but it's not crazy. I, I don't think I've ever said this, right? Yeah. In Film Red, when I saw how quickly he was able to close the distance against Kizaru. I screamed. Bro. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, man, that shit, jumped, like, I, I, I jumped out of my chair. I had fucking Skittles everywhere. I'm like, yo, oh, shit. Yo, I was, I was mad he, he, I couldn't he was rewind. Real. I was mad I couldn't rewind because it happened so quick, right? But Kizaru went up. He fires. Shanks blocks it. Kizaru moves again. And then Shanks is there. I'm like, I don't know if this is movie stuff, but this is bro. crazy stuff right now. Bro, they, they, that they did, was they real. Did, they did come out recently and say that they lied about some abilities because they didn't want to spoil it. Yeah, of course. That's fine. But it's just like, I think because there is still the volume 4 billion. I think certain things have to still be applied. Like the idea that Shanks has Congress hockey to where it can erase his presence so no one can sense his future. That's, I think, has to still apply. Um, that uh, that because I think that's the whole thing with like let's say him because if Mihawk has let's say the future side thing right. God whatever the hell then Shanks is that ultimate counter so you just can't read his future. But what if what um, if it's like because of Shanks's conquers hockey you're ultimately always flustered so you can't focus. That's possible too. That is possible. You know what sure. I mean? Like um, it's like it's so overwhelming you can't possibly focus on the future while fighting <sighs> Shanks. Like he has a constant like status effect like Con area <laughs> right so you can't it's like imagine, like it's an rpg boss battle right you go into the area immediately boom you hear like let's say you're automatically paralyzed no matter what it's like oh and you have to fight this this fucking monster yeah. at the same time you Oof. don't got time to read the future bro Oof. you gotta that, focus yo, on that'd be wild that'd be wild as hell but i think that i think it kind of all boils down to what kaido said about roger where he said that hockey can hockey. transcend all Right, yeah. and even though I think that it's right and wrong, because look at Kaido, Kaido like crazy dumb fruit stuff going on. His last attack was the bot, was the flame drum dragon. My like, yeah. dog, that's not hockey. What do you? It's a giant. It's a giant. It's like a, like, what, like, what do you, what do you think Oda was trying to convey um, there? Was this just Roger okay. Gas? Yes, I, I think it was Roger Gas. Therefore, Shanks Gas, because okay. Shanks has to be as proper as he is with just pure hockey. And like, it won't surprise you. Let's say Shanks had, if Shanks had an Elbaf spear, I mean, that's like. Damn, but he probably has, I think, Roger's move. So he probably has the Divine Departure. Oh, sorry. He probably has, yeah, 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 yeah. Commissary, I think he has that. Um, whatever Roger had, I think Shanks has too, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the idea is that someone like Roger and someone like Shanks, not people like Shanks, because they only had hockey, they had to focus on that predominantly. And their wills, just as people, their wills are so domineering that they are... That they're like the top of the food chain because of that. But let me but ask you, Luffy. That's what I asked you. Luffy, well, yeah, because Luffy, I, I think he's the exception. Luffy's gonna surpass Shanks because he has like the crazy ability. He, he has, has the, that and the ability. He has he has right. the will of Roger and Shanks and Rayleigh and right. those guys. Exactly. But now though. he has a god. The busted fruit. ability, right? Yeah. So like, and now in the movie they explain the idea of Shanks' uh, uh, his potential lineage, and that could yeah. be let's say a power route too for him, maybe. But I think that ultimately it's like when you have like. When I think about like what Luffy could do in the future, um, and I think about hold on, like Luffy could literally like leave the manga. He, 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 <laughs> in Gear Five, he could just like leave the manga. If he did, I'm like, yeah, well, go ahead, King, do you? Because it's like he he can do so many different wonky, zany, crazy, mad lad things. It's hard to predict what, like like what he can do in the future per se. So, but Shanks is like. Oh man, like the way Oda views Shanks is like nuts. I think that he said before himself that like 
he views himself as Sanji in the Straw Hats. Yeah. But then he views himself as Shanks in like the story itself. There ain't no way Oda's weak in the story. Right? Like if Aizen is like Kubo, yeah. there ain't no way Shanks, who's older, is gonna be weak. That's not happening. That's not I happening. Think, I think as a Shanks fan, sometimes taking a step back and looking at how how Oda portrays him, very prestigious, very yeah. calculated. Um Pacifist. It's like, it, it, Pacifist. It, it, pass and the and the thing is, Shanks's persona and Shanks's demeanor is one of I know I'm that guy. Yeah. I know it. And I think, you know, I had to debate the base of people all the time about Shanks and how you. Mihawk. Uh, listen, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not even going to go to Mihawk. Fair enough. What I, what, I, what I tell them is like, we had, off coming off of Wanda, we understand Kaido way more now. Mm. Oh, yeah. And more than anything. Not everything. Ka not everything. Because we still have, you know, flashbacks yeah, coming out. Not over, everything. But, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. one thing we know, he wants to fight. He wants to brawl. He wants to box. Mm -hmm. And he pulled up with King. And Shanks stopped him from going to the War of the Best? What could Shanks possibly do to stop this bloodlusted, I'm craving? He mm -hmm. He'd been one in Whitebeard. Mm -hmm. And Shanks said, nah, not today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't be you can't be weak stopping someone like Kaido. Mm -hmm. You can't. It's not possible. You, it, it's not possible. And Kaido, I don't know if they met before that, but off of that interaction, he said, "These, these few men, these guys, five dudes, they, these five. guys, yes, they can fight me. Yes, yes. I think that's that's telling in an, in and of itself. Yes, that he's different." Yeah. And he's supposedly the normal Yonko out of all there, that was there. There's the idea that I think it was stated in the Road to Laugh Tale, where like when Shanks is on the move, um, it, I think even in the uh, Ace Light novel too, where it's like Shanks is normally a pacifist. He's you know a guy that tries to balance out the world for X Y Z reason, but when he's pushed or when he's pissed off, yeah. he's basically unstoppable. Like, yeah. no one can stop Shanks. They can't shut him down. They can't control him. It's not possible. And I think that the idea is that Shanks, for the most part, he's a chill dude. Like, he just wants to kind of enjoy his time. Yeah. He has his own goals in mind. I think it's even, it's, it's, it's even said in the, in the Chronicles of Uta, in the movie um, uh, manual, not manual, in, in, in the movie um, notes, yeah. where Shanks has his own plan for this era. Mm -hmm. So he has his own plans for this current era of the One Piece, okay? Yeah. So it's like, okay, Shanks has this grandiose vision in mind, and it just kind of feels like when the world balancer, who is Shanks, is now deciding to stop doing that, that of itself would warrant like a major bounty raise. Because the girls say like, yeah, like, oh, because it's you, like, we'll give you like some time. Yeah. But because we know you're pacifist, but now he's no, now, now he's, you know. Now you're like, active. Now he's active? Oh, oh, okay, now that's you're a problem. Active. Right. Yeah. So it's and, like he's unpredictable now. Before, yeah. they worried more about the Suchibukai position than Shanks meeting up with Whitebeard. Correct. Now, Greenbow's like, well, yeah, <laughs> Red here is actually on the move. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, this mm -hmm. is something we didn't factor in even with Red here. But we knew we think be about how powerful that is. Like, yeah. We're anything Green Bull does is always going to be relative to Shanks psyching him out. Yes. Everything this this dude's whole existence is revolved around being Shanks's bottom bitch. It's like that. That's crazy. Grimble, that's wild. I'm I'm seeing when we did the we did like a like a top thirty discussion, and we did a re, we revisited it. And, um, and people had, uh, like some of the straw had stronger than Greenbow. Nah. <laughs> He just be he just beat Weevil. What? You, nah, yo, nah. Well, there are people that are arguing that he didn't fight Weevil. I mean, that J Weevil just went. That'd be kind of weird. To protect, I'd be, be, be kind of weird. I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna front. Yeah, but I mean, and then, and then the tough part, even after like it was, it said Green Bull captured Weevil. My thing was, it doesn't move the needle because we don't know shit about Weevil. Like we, we have no idea. All, all we know. Okay, the strength of a young white beard, right? Yes. But That's it's pretty so, big. It's, it's so vague. I'm pretty powerful, though. I mean, white beard, one palm, squared ship. Like, yo, we going, dude. Like, come on. Like, he's, he's strong. 
it's, it's, I mean, <laughs> it is vague, but it, strong. It, it, I mean, the same white beard, you know what I'm saying? Kizaru held down that glaive, like, nah, old man, but. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no. Wait, listen, no. man. White beard, nah. old and sick, friend, uh, but Karasu? Nah, he can't have a Karasu, yo. Yo, listen, man. He just can't have a Karasu. Karasu's got his I number, can, yo. I, yo, I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't, yo. I can't wait till we see. We can see, I want to see what happened. I need to see what happened because the, hey, the, the, the apples are not going to live it down until I see how this transpired. And, you know, I hope I hope one time. Shots to Karasu, Marlon I, Limber. I hope one time that Oda um, comes to the U.S. and we have like a meet and greet. That's the and, question. And a translator. I'll be like, Oda, what the fuck was happening at, 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 <laughs> what, what at Mary Joao? the Holy Land? How? Yep. How? How does this happen? Come on, man! Like, what oh, you man. doing? Either way, Two. we gotta get we gotta get out of here, Cole. I got one question. Oh yeah, time. True. We can't go Sanji. like four hours this time around. It's not no. possible. No. <laughs> That's not possible. Nah, no, not at all. Sanji. Yeah. He basically blocked a fishman karate attack from a seraphim. Yeah. And the cigarette I don't like a punch, just to keep it safe. I just say like a punch. Like okay, a, a punch. Yeah. yeah. How, did, does this move the needle for you at all? Oh, not. I mean, I I like it in terms of like it gives more intel on like what like, like how tanky he is right now. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like where I put Sanji, this doesn't really change my stance on Sanji. Like I think Sanji's still better. Personally speaking, I think he's still up there with like other first division, uh, first uh, division cats. Pro speaking, so he's up there with like the Marcos and the King of All Fires and the Kai I think Curry's he's clearly guys. over. Um, he's clearly over Marco now for me. Uh, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, he already he has, beat Queen. He already beat Queen. Has, he has pretty much. Marco can regen, right? Yeah. Sanji can regen. In a way, yeah. Yeah. But Sanji has way more power. Than Marco. And he has more power. He has more like front tank, but like he can take an attack like that, just keep you know keep, you know, keep, you know keep pushing. I mean? But I think for me, it's about like Sanji's like his stamina. Like, can he How use long? his form for that long? How right. Long? Like Marco had that stamina strength. He can only go for so long. So you can argue Sanji had that issue too. Maybe. Yeah. Have to wait and see. Um, yeah. I think yeah. I think it'd be a close, pretty pretty even fight. But it'd yeah. come down to Sanji taking Marco's attacks and Marco taking Sanji's attacks. Right. Which are way more heavier. Right. right. I'd argue. Yeah. Um, I said something on my last stream that uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm tripping, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I want an unbiased opinion of Ooh. this. I'll give my best. I said, based on the last chapter, Sanji versus Katakuri is scary when it comes to Kat. Oh, <sighs> unbiased Katakuri opinion for me. Yeah. Damn. Uh... I, 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 it took a lot, but I'm thinking of the level Sanji has grown with Ifrit. And I, I said that there's only one thing Oda would have to confirm to me for Sanji to literally mm. be boxing with admirals and probably beating admirals. One thing. Future sight. So Sanji, I think, already has high degrees of that hockey but right we don't it's, know if he got to do future side reading like kind of curry could do right yeah if he I gets mean, to uh, that so okay for me it's kind of hard for me to say because like yeah. i kind of view in the same way as like how they talk about her crew the the big one pirate crew in yeah. the light novel where like they dub her crew to be like the strongest crew um so like because every young guy has the strongest something per se White Bear's strongest man, Kaido strongest uh, creature, Big Mom's strongest family. So like, the idea yeah, is like, family, yeah. right? And you can kind of see this in a way with Peril Sparrow. She's very, she, in Big Mom has country. A lot of, Big Mom has a lot of depth. She does, she but has also a lot of depth. She does, but but for a second, peep this. This dude Peril Sparrow was mm -hmm. able to fight against uh, so Nekomamushi mm -hmm. so long. For a period of time, like Jack the Drow was, and they mm -hmm. both lost to Su Long, you know, Shinigamushi. Mushi. Peril is so strong. Parallel, but but Peril is not stronger than Cracker. No, he's not. That means Smoothie. That means Katakuri. Mm -hmm. So you can argue that from just that perspective, each of the Big Mom Pirates are like, at least their commanders are like a tier like above a slight the tier above Beast the, Pirates. Right. Yeah. So in theory, Smoothie would be stronger than Queen the Plague because Peril is just the strongest Jack the Drow. 
Yeah. So I you go into that from, from from that standpoint. So for me, I think Kyle Curry is still like my my second strongest right hand man. Um, Benny. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, right after Benny, and then I think um, I want to see a lot more from Sanji. You say he's actually just as strong as Kyle Curry because I think people also forget that Kyle Curry he gave a lot during that fight. He literally gave movie like I'm gonna transform a steak man. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. He could he, he, he could have yeah. stopped it. Yeah, he gave he could have stopped he but, it. But he chose not to. Literally, the fight was a draw for like 10 minutes, and then he lost because of the idea of like you see further than me because you have more willpower than me to, to, to go forward and achieve your dream while I'm just still here. But he's still conscious at the end of the fight. Um People also forget that he already had hard armor hockey than Luffy when he was in Snake Man. He was already in gear four, mm -hmm. and he said hard, uh, uh, hard armor hockey. And on top of that, we find out that uh, during the Kaido fight, you need Future Sight to perceive Snake Man. Yeah. Kaido's getting tagged in Chiwu form. Yeah. Kaido Curry's just timing this. Like, like, like it's nothing. And then when he Kyle turned donut, donut form, he tagged Snake Man immediately. Mm -hmm. And he does even use the most powerful attacking argue in terms of the mole spear that's out of the window because yeah. he goes just for straight fisticuffs. Yeah. So there's so many layers to Katakuri's character over the course of that fight. You know, people talk, you know, people um, say about Kat, like the issue with it. You yeah. People well, say. people just kind of say, well, would Snake Man Luffy beat King the Wildfire at that point in time? People talk about people his, his, the... his tankiness, like how much, how many hits he can take. I, I mean, because, but, but the problem is, like, these are like, Number one, they're Snake Man hits, and they're like, there's so many hits in general, right? But then and also, then they're on panel things. They fought for eleven hours, right? But then also, he he stabbed himself, you know, right? Yeah, like he had a gaping hole in the side of his abdomen, all right? Duh. Mm -hmm. So he's not gonna get full power. Then and neither is Luffy, of course. But I think the, the idea is that it was more so a battle of will. It was a battle of like mindset mentality because they were very very similar outside of that one thing. Where Luffy was willing to get sloppy, willing to yeah. do the dirty work, uh, but his will was way stronger than Kata Curry's ultimately. And then he saw the, and he's he had a bigger vision of the of of, uh, of the world than Kata Curry yeah. did. And so he can and so he can move forward and, and Kata Curry can. Yeah, yeah. I think uh it's 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 something I have to go back and really look at some more things to it's deep. Have a I'll do because I have a video plan on Kata Curry, but I think because I view Kata Curry as a as a dichotomy of two characters from uh from comics, Superman and then the Hulk. I think that's a that's his dichotomy, okay. where you can view because Kyle Curry has that Hulkish personality that comes out later, but then on paper he's the Superman of the Big Mom Pirates. Like that's okay. how they kind of view him. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm a video like break like break, break, breaking all down because folks who understand Kyle Curry. I think he's much deeper than people would give him credit for. A lot. Deeper, uh, a lot. I'll be looking forward to that for sure. Yeah. Um. And also real quick too, I got a video yeah. coming out. 57 minutes long on the <laughs> power scaling One Piece characters, strong attacks, in, strong attacks in Wano Country, or in One Piece, I should say. Uh, it's going to be a doozy. It's going to be hey, man. math, breaking it all down. It's going to be a long video. Hey, yo, that's that's one you definitely got to get your popcorn for. Um, yeah. Yeah, so shout out to Cole. Appreciate you pulling up. Um, I wish the chapter was out for us to talk about it. Same. Um, but you know, uh, we'll, we'll get an Twitter for a while. Yeah, yeah, we'll get an opportunity definitely to talk about it. And um, but yeah, guys, Cole's channel in the description, we know, um, in the title merch as too. well. Ah, go get the merch. Go get the merch, baby. Uh, a, f a, few, yeah. a few, a few, a few good men on Redbubble, only Redbubble, but Redbubble. Good, yeah, go get that. And um, yeah, appreciate you pulling up, Cole. Always a pleasure, my boy. Always a pleasure, dog. This is gonna be uh, a great final saga. Great. Yeah, it, it's gonna be amazing. Like I said, yeah, One yeah, Piece yeah. is probably in the best. Like, if you know somebody that hasn't caught up to One Piece, and it, this is the best time to catch up. Now's the time, yo. Now is the best time to catch up. We catch are catch up, stay inside. Now's the time. We're eating. We're eating right now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, like, subscribe to Cole. Um, look out for that video, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.